G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, today I bring you a very special guest presenter. He is indeed one of the Great Globe Provers. Now, I will let him tell you all about it as I'm way too busy myself. That aluminium isn't going to turn into dust all by itself now, is it? Oh, I love it when the chips are flying. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and this is going to be the biggest, most epic globe debunking ever. So get your affairs in order, Globers, because there's no coming back from this. There's a 630 square mile estuary in southern Louisiana known as Lake Pontchartrain. In May of 2017, a man by the name of Lance Caracioli photographed the Lake Pontchartrain transmission lines that stretched 16 miles from Laplace to Manchac. As you can see, these lines are a monument to the curvature of the Earth. A little further to the east, when on their way to New Orleans, travelers crossed this body of water on one of the most amazing bridges in the world, the 24-mile-long Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Again, Lance's images capture the shape of the Earth. Since then, the geometry of the causeway has been profiled by collecting Earth-centered, Earth-fixed coordinates collected with high-precision GPS by Jesse Kozlowski, modeled in 3D by Walter Bislin, and photographed from 155-foot elevation by Lance. These three techniques agree. The shape of the Earth is clearly round. You can find more imagery by Lance on his YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash soundly. Soundly has captured the shape of the Earth with these videos and images on his YouTube channel. And videos like this to show that the Earth is clearly round. Being so confident in his observations that he titles these videos Flat Earth Debunked and Witness the Curvature of the Earth, Flat Earth Debunked. So game over for Flat Earth. I mean, every Glober should be using these videos and images from Stanley as proof that the horizon is physical Earth curve that blocks things. Well, here's Mick West taking to his website, metabunk.org claiming soundly proving the curvature of the Earth at Lake Pontchartrain. The Lake Pontchartrain power lines demonstrate the curvature of the Earth. The same Mick West that's been on Joe Rogan experience not once, but twice. Leading to ZMEScience.com writing an article using Mick West's post of Soundly's observations to also claim the power lines over Lake Pontchartrain elegantly demonstrate the curvature of the Earth. Game, set, match, flat earthers. The image is also being used in memes and other YouTubers adopting the images as proof of Earth Curve. This is a set of power lines on Lake Pontchartrain, and it just so happens to show the curvature of the Earth. Some people even using the images at Lake Pontchartrain in debates against Flat Earthers as proof of Earth Curve. I'm not sure if you become aware of this. I'm sure you guys are aware of this. It's a place called Lake Pontchartrain. It's the transmission lines in Louisiana, United States. This image was done originally by a YouTuber named Soundly. There's tons of videos talking about all of this. And this image was virtually modeled on a spherical earth with a circumference of 40,000 kilometers. The model made a prediction that if zoomed in at the specific height, what we should see. This image is what the model showed. And when this shot was done in reality, that's exactly what you see. So what as you just heard, the Globers argument now becomes comparing a model of the globe to what we see in reality. I'm arguing about the geometry of the planet. I jump to what is some of the best evidence for curvature of the Earth, and that is Soundly's Lake Pontchartrain Causeway observation. The length of the causeway makes it possible to see the curvature of the Earth directly given a clear enough day. When the atmospheric clarity allows for it, you will be able to see the causeway literally curving with the Earth. What is amazing here? is that this observation was virtually modeled with the assumed size and shape of the globe. And when you compare the computer renderings to what was actually observed, they match as expected. This shows that the round earth model made a prediction, and that prediction turned out to be the case. This is great because only models that are able to reliably make predictions are the ones that should be followed and trusted. And I think it's safe to say that the round earth model has passed that test. Well, hold on there, Reds Rhetoric, because this is where this video gets juicy. It is claimed that this image shows Earth curve. It starts with the assumption that the horizon is the geometric leading edge of a sphere capable of physically blocking things like those transmission lines. Now that Walter Bislin has rendered a globe model over the top of the image using the assumed geometric constraints of the globe, we now have a claimed distance measurement to the horizon in this image. So from the observer's stated height of 10.3 meters, the distance measurement to horizon in this image is 11,754 meters. 
Now that we know the distance to the horizon in this image, we're going to see if this actually does match the official geometric limitations of the globe, like Red's rhetoric claims it does. To avoid any cries of straw meaning the globe's official geometry, MC Toon has pointed us to the Earth Curve Calculator on a website that uses the correct maths in the formula for the distance to the geometric horizon on the globe. The link takes us to another one of Walter Bislin's websites, the Advanced Earth Curve Calculator, where we can see the formula used for the distance to the geometric horizon on the globe indeed matches the official globe geometry of 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet, or 3.569 times the square root of the observer's height in metres. And in agreement with MC Toon, Wolfie6020 also recommends Walter Bislin's Advanced Earth Curve Calculator. So I was very happy this morning to see an email from Walter Bislin. Walter's new Advanced Earth Curve Calculator sets a new standard because it gives you a visual representation. This is really an excellent calculator for allowing us to conduct real observations and then using this calculator to predict whether the real observations are matching a globe. So thanks again, Walter. Your contribution to research is just outstanding and I can't speak highly enough of your work. Great, so now we can use the Advanced Earth Curve Calculator, approved and endorsed by the Globers, to confirm if the distance to the horizon measured at Lake Pontchartrain matches the official globe geometry. The observer's height in Stanley's image was 10.3 metres. Entering this into the Advanced Earth Curve Calculator from 10.3 metre height, the official distance to the geometric horizon on the globe model must be no more than 11,460 metres. This is the official geometric limitations of the globe from that height. That means that the distance to the horizon in this photo taken by Stanley has to be no more than 11,460 metres. But as you can clearly see, from Stanley's observer height of 10.3 metres, the distance measurement to the horizon in this image is further than that, at 11,754 metres. For those playing at home, that means that this image of Stanley's, used by so many Globers as proof of Earth curve, this horizon, in fact... Okay, Mitchell, you sound a little tired. Now, let me take it from here. This is such a great globe proof, I would hate for you to make a mistake and mess it up right about now. What Mitchell is about to go on and say is that he had made a mistake. He had set refraction to zero. <laughs> this is not devastating for me at all. Yeah, I was wrong, and I can admit I was wrong. I, I'll eat a big piece of humble pie. He had set refraction to zero. Now, don't get me wrong, that is fine if you want to know what the distance to the geometric horizon should be. But, if you want to be able to see that, then you need an apparent horizon. You know, atmospherics and all that. Any thinking person can see that soundly had refraction set to weak, or some non-zero value. And Mitchell, when you set refraction to the same value as Soundly, I'm sure you saw that the observed distance to the horizon was now the same as what Soundly was reporting. And Mitch goes on to find nine other cases where Walter Bislin's amazing Earth Curve Calculator was just perfect, as it always is. It only works on the globe. So thank you, Mitchell. You did a great job as guest presenter on Where's Wally? Thanks, Wally. You guys are awesome. What? Great proof too, by the way, one of the best. And it's a little bit of housekeeping. I did ask your Papa Flurf Nathan to have a word with you about this mistake that you made. I know he is very against fraud at the moment, so I would expect to have a call up to the office should I be you, Mitchell. Naughty, naughty. So maybe it could be maybe a bigger radius. Maybe we're still on a globe, but it, it just could be a bigger radius, a bigger globe, maybe. Let's have a little look-see at the Causeway Bridge. So game over for Flat Earth, right? This is humiliating for...